from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Say it like to me. Okay, let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Yes. When a baby is born out of love. Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, congratulations on the birth of your baby boy. Yeah. So she posted and she goes, here's, or somebody's here. That's no word on the name. All right, I'm sure she'll be posting before the end of the show. <laughs> okay. The following story I really don't care about, but I was convinced by the Bureau that you guys care. T.I. being arrested? You, you've heard about this? Yeah. All right, well, we'll break it down a little bit more. So he was arrested yesterday after arguing uh, with a security guard at four o'clock in the morning at what they call his gated community. Although in Atlanta, you all, you all call them subdivisions. <laughs> Which, I don't, a subdivision? <laughs> This is a gorgeous home, it's not sub or divisioning. <laughs> anyway, so he was charged with assault and disorderly conduct and public drunkenness. And as mug shots go, right? <laughs> All right now. So T.I. wasn't driving, he was with a friend of his. I was wondering why the friend didn't stick up for T.I. You know, four o'clock in the morning, they were coming from the studio, which kind of turns into the club. He wasn't doing anything wrong. Tiny was in the house with the kids and he's trying to get into the house. He did not have his keys. A lot of men leave the house without their keys. Wallets and brains. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? So it, to me, it's not unusual for him to be, you know, oh, let me in, let me in. Well, the guard was asleep four o'clock in the morning. Oftentimes, when you work that fourth or fifth shift, your job is flipped so many times and you so are not, dis you, you so don't care that you do take a nap and you wanna be that jerk and you're not as familiar with the people who live there. I know, I did overnight radio and I, I wasn't working the morning show at that time, so what do I care if you're ringing on the doorbell? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm on overnights, I'm trying to see the sun uh, light for a job. So anyway, this man who happened to be black, the, the gatekeeper, and was sleeping, um, so T.I. banged and banged and he woke up and then he said, well, um, let me see your ID. And T.I. says, I don't have any ID. And T.I. was drinking, but again, his friend was the one driving, so everything was fine. So he said, I don't have ID. I'm t don't you know who I am? I'm T.I. Only in the case of trying to get into your own home would this be acceptable. You know, <laughs> pulling the name card. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> let me give you the teeth. <laughs> He's got beautiful teeth. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so finally the guard calls Tiny and Tiny says, yeah, let him in. All right, so by now I guess it's 425 in the morning. I don't know what Tiny was doing up. Maybe she wasn't up, but now she's pissed, but maybe she's not pissed because as musicians we all know, or they all know, that you know, being in the studio until four in the morning is no big deal. All right, so Tiny says, let him in. T.I. goes in, the friend drives him up to the you know, thing, Security guard, I guess, goes back to sleep or whatever. T.I. went into the house, grabbed a drink, and went back to confront the same security guard. Oh. Well, see, now here's where the problem was. He, he goes, 
allegedly boom, 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 you know, at the gatehouse. Come out, let's deal with this like men. Well, you know what that means. With a cup of brown juice, <laughs> you know, crash, boom. No, we're not dealing with anything like men at now probably 4.45 in the morning. I'm calling the police. And so he did call the cops and all the cops were white. So now T.I. is saying that this is a black white thing. I don't see this as being a black white thing. I see this as T.I. forgot his ID. The security guard is not satisfied with his job. And the friend is a no good friend. Because if your friend is driving, then your friend should have been the one to step in. Like, you know, come on, tip man. Or, you know, like talk normal. Only guess what? Well, what had happened was <laughs> the license plate was not registered. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. So the friend didn't want to pipe up because the card was riding dirty. It's just a mess. So I don't think that he's gonna be going to court or anything like that. You just shouldn't have gone back, T.I. I know, and with the brown juice, you were turned up. And then, you know, maybe later in the day, once you slept it off after Major's birthday party, you could have gone to the management office and said, look, I have a complaint. This guy was here, and even though I didn't have my ID, he was sleeping, see? Cause that's a big one, that's, that was a big one. He was sleeping, you should have taken a picture of him sleeping before you even boom, 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 say, set him up. Yeah, I did, Major had a birthday party later on that day, and T.I. and Tiny, you know, they're good parents. And so, um, T.I. was there with the same shirt that he was uh, wearing that night. And there's that Major, doing the most, so cute. He's 10 now, he's 10, and there's Tiny. Everybody's tired because nobody wants to wake up for a 10-year-old birthday party at noon, not even when it's your own kid. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? But T.I. is planning to take legal action against the subdivision. I don't know what kind of legal action you could take, T.I. I just, you know, it, this was not a racial thing. It didn't seem to be racial to me. Clap if you thought this was racial. Okay. <laughs> you, it seemed racial to you. Okay. Well, thank you for, thank you for arriving today. <clears throat> so Hillary Duff lives in New York. Now I like the Duff family, but I always think of them as California people or Midwestern people, like anything but the NYC, you know? She doesn't seem like one of us. So anyway, so she lives in New York and apparently she lives in a high rise and she got in a nasty fight with her neighbor and so she called him out on social media, Hillary, what were you thinking? Okay, the neighbor is a private citizen. Hillary Duff has nine million followers. Plus she's on that really popular show, Younger, and you know, she's got a low key, really good career. Don't mess with the Duffs. Hillary or Haley or their mom. Their mom manages, you know. Anyway, um, so Hillary gets upset with this neighbor and she called him out on social media and posted this. Take a look. Calling all New Yorkers with <laughs> neighbors. Really open to any advice you have. Um, my neighbor smokes cigarettes and weed all night long. Um, my apartment reeks. Seriously, what do I do? Know your parents pay your rent. We know you've never worked a day in your life. It must be nice. Have some respect for your neighbors who work hard to live in that building. Don't be a dude and put your trash down the chute. I think we altered his name on that posting because I saw his real name this morning. What, Dieter? Oh, that's his name, Dieter? Uh -huh. Dieter. Dieter at home. Oh. German. Oh, we stick it about. <laughs> a, a Dieter Addison. <laughs> that's his name. And he is uh, the great great grandson of some very wealthy German people. So it's not his parents paying its rent, it's the estate or something, I don't know. Anyway, so right after the post, after she posted this, um, he spoke out and said he was lawyering up. I don't blame him. Number one, he says, I don't smoke pot, but I do smoke a ton of cigarettes and I moved here because this is a smoking building, which is very difficult to find here in New York you know, a building where you can actually light up. So he sought this building out so he could smoke. Duff, 
if you're gonna be there with your kids, she's got two or three kids, and the kids are there, and they're smelling of cigarettes, and you know she's smelling of cigarettes, but why didn't you ask before, you know, lunking down that absorbent amount of money, is this a smoking building? Even when you move into a building with dogs, don't you want to know the size of the dogs? You want, you want to know it's a small dog, not a big giant Marmaduke. Or even the small dogs make too much noise. Sometimes the Marmadukes are better. Or how about no animals at all? Yeah. Like, you want to know. He also says that he has three jobs and his roommate there at his apartment is his sober companion. Oh yeah, well he says it's been 90 days since he smoked pot. Which, which isn't much, but every day, every day is a struggle. Shout out to everybody in the field. Every day is a struggle. <laughs> 90 days. Anyway, Hillary is claiming that her boyfriend, Matthew, okay, so here's where the boyfriend gets involved. Her, this is her boyfriend, his name is Matthew. He's there at the apartment. Apparently, he became so pissed with all the smoking and, and whatnot. She also said in her rant something about how he breaks furniture when he fights with his girlfriend or boyfriend. You can't insinuate, you know, he could have been moving a chair. Oh, this is why you need to live in Jersey. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's the thing about living in New York City is that you're gonna live on top of people and you're gonna have to deal with people's idiosyncrasies, whether it's a smoking building or not a smoking building. I know people who live in non-smoking buildings, they still smoke, but they make sure that they get a, a, you know, a, a, either a French balcony or a balcony balcony, or they got a lot of good sprays, a lot of air wicks and stuff sitting around. <laughs> or you wet the towel like we did in college <laughs> and line the door. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't want to deal with neighbors right on top of you and all of their idiosyncrasies, and there will always be something, uh, uh, then the best thing you could do is move to, a what, move to Long Island. They've got beautiful detached houses. Your neighbors will be a few lawns over, and then there. So Matthew apparently went over and punched this guy in the head. Oh. Well, th this, is a court, this is according to Dieter, allegedly, according to Dieter, the boy, uh, Matthew, he went over and punched him in the head. So I, I do think that this is some sort of, I mean, the man already has money. Do you really want to spend time back and forth in court for this particular case? No. But, you know, the rep for Matthew is alleging, the boyfriend, alleging that everything is untrue. But Hillary is admitting a whole lot just by posting a private citizen's name and now, by the way, people are like after him on his social media. So this theater, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now all of a sudden he's a public figure with haters. Well, Hillary, the best you can do is move. You know? Does he look a little bit like Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I just don't want you to think it's always me thinking about Shia LaBeouf, I don't. But he looks a little buffish. <laughs> Remember last week I was telling you about um, the fan who got beat up by Cardi B and offsets people and bodyguards and stuff. And the fan is an agitator who says things like, go ahead, hit me, hit me. And then, and then laid there like this in time. <laughs> <laughs> Claiming everything in his body is broken. Just, ah, don't touch me. <laughs> well, as we expected, he's suing. And he's suing everybody. His name is Giovanni Arnold. Now, do we have the sound on this where we actually hear him saying, sue me? Oh, the, the, all right, on the next one? All right, we showed you this one, but this is the film footage that keeps on giving. There he is li laying there. Flav of Flav. <laughs> oh, man, for autograph? Damn, that's serious. I'll take all your money, bro. Please, please beat me up. Please, brother. Hey, I'm popping me there, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Hey. <laughs> it's a 
a shame, but he does have a lawsuit. You know why? Because the, the security guards leapt and they fell into it. He's a professional autograph seeker. He's been around Cardi B before. There he is right there. Uh, that's not Car, is that Cardi? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so there he is with Cardi that one time and there he is over her shoulder another time and he doesn't just do it to her, he just does it. This is what he does. So this was the night of the Met. And she had gone to an after party and was coming out of, I think, the Mark Hotel here in the city. He's also suing the security guards of the Mark Hotel because he's saying that they just stood around and did nothing. So he's suing Offset and Cardi B who were in the, in the truck already. He's suing their security guards. He's saying that they beat him so bad <laughs> that he suffered face, neck, and back injuries. Look, he's suing for an unspecified amount of money. Cardi V in your camp, if I were you, I would not settle out of court. I'm gonna tell you why, because I know you have the money, you can just throw him a quick $50,000 and it's no skin off your back. But he's looking for that quick paycheck. What you should do is take this to court so that the judge can let this guy know, you know, you can't just, you, you can't just do this and then have you on blast and on Front Street so your little scam of how you make money will go out of business, sir, because everybody will be looking for you. And, and celebrities should not just settle like that for people who st try to start trouble. Cardi did nothing wrong. Her people did nothing wrong, except the security got hot-headed at the end, and so I would have fired them all. You know, like you're, you're paid to keep your composure. Don't fight. Damn, she looks exhausted with him right there in that picture, didn't she? Like, damn, this MF again. <laughs> so Jennifer Love Hewitt, who I love, um, she's apologizing for how she looked on the red carpet this week. Well, you know, there's a big thing going on here in New York. Um, her show is called uh, 911, and she was at the Fox up front, and she saw this picture of herself on the red carpet, and um, she got all kinds of people asking her, like, why do you look like that? Why do you look? She actually got her on her own Instagram to apologize. Take a look at love. I just have to apologize for how, like, wrecked I look in all the pictures that have come out. I literally was melting. By the time I got to the red carpet, <clears throat> I was honestly melting. Like my hair was flat, my makeup was running off my face. <laughs> and I look like I had completely forgot. An actress in this business who's supposed to look like, you know, baller status. <laughs> I love love, I know what she means, but you know what? It was hot that day, number one. Number two, I know people who saw her in person and she did not look like that. I think it's, you know what it's more of? It's not more of how you look, but how you're standing and you're not smiling and give us that smile. She was really sweet to apologize, but I don't think she needs to. You know, she's a mother, she's successful. And what do you want from your um, people? If you look too regular, then you don't like that. Where were her eyelashes? Where was her makeup? Where was her updo? Where was her you know, tight dress? What do you want? Every time you open a magazine, you expect everyone to look so perfect. And the fact is, is like, Love just said, it's not perfect all the time. I don't think she needed to apologize, but she has brought to light that <clears throat> there's an insatiable appetite for perfectionism in not just celebrities, but I think in regular people now too. You show up for work without makeup, unless you already go that way, in which case, you know, people don't. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like uh, people are complaining about pink. You know, so Love goes to this red carpet, she looked fine to me. Uh, the singer Pink uh, clapped back, she was being trolled on how she looks. Someone posted, wow, Pink looks so old, she should, name her, she should be named Purple instead. <laughs> well, Pink, Pink's response was, you must be from LA. Well, there are a few uh, people left in the world that choose to age naturally and every earned, ev or I've earned every effing minute of my 38 years how you looking though, cause I never heard of you till you put my name in your mouth. <laughs> so apparently she's not gonna be doing Botox and all the other kind of stuff that people do. Not just people in Hollywood, but you do it too. Or the, or the person sitting next to you does it, or your neighbor down the street. 
you, the beauty industry is crazy and it's turned people really crazy and almost turned us toward, against one another. So Pink says that I pray to look older in 10 years because that will mean I'm alive. Aww. Look. So we never got to the Kim story. I can't talk about the lollipop because that was I going mean, the other direction. Yeah, exactly. People are complaining about Kim Kardashian uh -huh. with this lollipop business. Well, how do you want Kim to look? She's, she's given her life to you for the purpose of beauty. You don't want her to go out of the house looking any other way than Kim Alicious. She is, so this is a lollipop that suppresses appetites. Big deal. So does a Jolly Rancher. You know what I mean? So does any old piece of candy, a piece of hard candy, particularly minty. Because then they ruin your taste buds and you don't want to eat. Just saying. <laughs> so she's endorsing this lollipop, a uh, weight loss product. I'm sure she got a million dollars to post this on her Instagram, and I'm not exaggerating. She posted it. The ad was promoting this. A lot of people now are purchasing this lollipop because she's promoting it. But a lot of people are very upset, particularly in this time of the Me Too movement, that, you know, why is she still out here doing things like that? Because that's what she does. What are you saying? That little waist with the rib removed? <laughs> that, that, look, look, that, that's the rumor. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I joke. Jokes, jokes. That little waist with the rib removed though and that big inflated behind and those little tiny legs and stuff and the pendulous boobs and the perfect hair and the good makeup, that's Kim. So why are you gonna complain about her? Like you can't be uber beautiful or you complain. You can't go natural like pink or you complain. And God forbid you have a misstep on the red carpet like Jennifer Love Hewitt, you complain. Are we finished complaining? Actually, complaining is quite entertaining. <laughs> We've got more great show for you today, everybody. We've got the inside scoop on all the final details of that royal wedding. So grab a snack and come on back.